Hey guys, I'm Alex, thanks for clicking, and welcome to this lesson on five common native English speaker mistakes. So these are mistakes that native speakers make in conversation with other native speakers. So for those of you who are just learning the language, this is good for you too, because you will hear these mistakes being made on the street, and if you're wondering, hey, that doesn't sound correct, why, why is that person not using correct grammar? Um, it's because they might not know that they are using incorrect grammar. Uh, those of you who are English speakers, well, this is the stuff that drives English teachers absolutely crazy. So, let's begin with number one. Double negatives. Okay, so what's a double negative? There are three examples on the board. We have, I didn't see nothing. She didn't do nothing. They don't buy nothing with trans fats. Okay. Now, you, hear, you see two negative words in each of these three sentences. And the first one, I didn't, so didn't obviously is a negative word. We have nothing, which is also a negative word. So if you say, I didn't see nothing, you actually mean that you saw something. So you're giving the opposite meaning of what you actually want to say. So what word should replace nothing in these three sentences? Anything. That's absolutely correct. So, you can say, I didn't see anything. She didn't do anything. Or, they don't buy anything with trans fats. Okay, so just remember, watch out for those double negatives. Now, on to number two, less versus fewer. Okay, so this is a question of count and non-count nouns. Uh, basically, when you use less, you should only be using it with non-count nouns. So we're talking about nouns like honey, water, milk, um, anything you can think of that you can't really count, like abstract concepts like love or justice, for example. Now, things that you can count and are in plural form should be using fewer. So in these three examples, um, there are three mistakes. We have, there were less than 50 people at the club. There are less reasons to own a home phone today. I know less languages than my cousin. All of these are absolutely wrong because they all use less, which you should be using for non-count nouns. But if you look at this closely, people, you can count people. You have reasons, you can count reasons. Languages, you can also count languages. So with all of these, you should actually be saying fewer, fewer, fewer. Now, I know this is a mistake that I hear commonly, especially with relation to people, less people. It's, you should actually be saying fewer people, fewer reasons, fewer, sorry, fewer languages. Okay, so remember, if it's plural, it's countable, you're thinking less, fewer. If you can count it, it's plural, fewer. Now, let's move on to number three. I could care less. This is an expression we use when we want to say that we have almost no interest in something um, that one of our friends or somebody has just said. So, for example, Spain won the World Cup, and you might hear somebody say, I don't care about soccer, I could care less about this. Diane bought a new purse. I don't know Diane. I don't know her very well. I could care less about Diane buying a new purse. Do you like U2? I could care less about U2. Maybe because I'm not a fan of rock and roll or I just don't like the band or I don't like Bono's political views or something like that. Now, this expression, I could care less, actually says that you care a little bit. So what you're trying to say is not exactly what you're trying to say. If you want to say that you have no interest or this doesn't affect you in some way, the expression is, I could not care less. Okay, so let's just fix this up here. And say, I couldn't care less. This means your interest is so low that there's nowhere for you to go. If you say, I could care less, Maybe you care this much, and you could still care a little more, or sorry, care a little less. Okay, guys, so again, next time you want to show that 
you don't have any interest in a topic a person is talking to you about, say, I couldn't care less. Now let's move on to number four, have went. This is a problem of using the incorrect verb form. So basically in English, you're gonna have three verb forms for each verb. So for example, with the verb go, we have the present, go, the past, went, and we have the past participle, which we use in the perfect forms of English, which is gone. So when you, when you use have plus went, you actually mean have gone, and you should be saying have gone. So I have three examples here. I've went to Ohio three times. We should have went earlier. They could have went with us. Um, all of these are wrong because they all use the incorrect form of the verb go. So instead of saying I've went to Ohio three times, we should be saying I have gone to Ohio three times. We should have went earlier. We should have gone earlier. They could have went with us. They could have gone with us. So basically anytime you have have plus the verb go in like the past form, so could have, should have, might have, would have, or just simply have, please use the correct form of the verb, which is gone. Now let's move on to the final mistake. Number five, is, are, and was, were. Now, this is a mistake between thinking there's one of something versus many of something. So, for example, normally we use is with the subject he, she, right? He is, she is, or it is. Um, and we use are with which subject? Well, we can say you are or they are, right, for the plural they. However, many English speakers make the mistake of using is when they should be using are like in the three examples I have here. So we have, there is two cars in the driveway, there was three mice in the kitchen, and there wasn't enough students to run the program. Now, all these three examples have plurals. So we have two cars, we have three mice, we have students, these all mean plural. So if you have a verb, a verb, I apologize, I meant an object, a noun, um, that is plural, you should be using are. So we don't say there is two cars, we say there are two cars in the driveway. We don't say there was three mice in the kitchen. There were three mice in the kitchen. We don't say there wasn't enough students. We say there weren't enough students to run the program. Okay, guys, so just as a reminder, please, please try and avoid these mistakes. We have double negatives, less and fewer, could care less, have went, and up here is, are, was, were. If you'd like to test your understanding of this knowledge, you can check out the quiz on angvid.com. Good luck, guys, and take care.